The World Rally Championship WRC is a rallying series organized by the FIA, culminating with a champion driver, co-driver and manufacturer. The Drivers' World Championship and Manufacturers' World Championship are separate championships, but based on the same point system. The series currently consists of 14 three-day events driven on surfaces ranging from gravel and tarmac to snow and ice. Each rally is split into 15 to 25 special stages which are run against the clock on closed roads. The WRC was formed from well-known and popular international rallies, most of which had previously been part of the European Rally Championship or the International Championship for Manufacturers, and the series was first contested in 1973. The World Rally Car is the current car specification in the series. It evolved from Group A cars which replaced the banned Group B supercars. World Rally Cars are built on production 1.6-liter four-cylinder cars, but feature turbochargers, anti-lag systems, four-wheel drive, sequential gearboxes, aerodynamic parts and other enhancements bringing the price of a WRC car to around US$1 million United States dollars, 700,000 euros per 500,000 pounds. The WRC features three support championships: the Junior World Rally Championship, JWRC, formerly the WRC Academy, the World Rally Championship 2, WRC 2, formerly the Super 2000 World Rally Championship, and the World Rally Championship 3, WRC 3, formerly the Production World Rally Championship, which are contested on the same events and stages as the WRC, but with different regulations. The WRC2, WRC3 and Junior entrants race through the stages after the WRC drivers. Topic: History. Topic: Early The World Rally Championship was formed from well-known international rallies, nine of which were previously part of the International Championship for Manufacturers (IMC), which was contested from 1970 to 1972. The 1973 World Rally Championship was the inaugural season of the WRC and began with the Monte Carlo Rally on January 19. Alpine Renault won the first Manufacturers World Championship with its Alpine A110, after which Lancia took the title three years in a row with the Ferrari V6 powered Lancia Stratus HF, the first car designed and manufactured specifically for rallying. The first Drivers World Championship was not awarded until 1979, although 1977 and 1978 seasons included an FIA Cup for drivers, won by Italy's Sandro Munari and Finland's Marku Allen respectively. Sweden's Björn Waldegard became the first official world champion, edging out Finland's Hannu Mikola by one point. Fiat took the manufacturer's title with the Fiat 131 Abart in 1977, 1978 and 1980, Ford with its Escort 1,800 rupees in 1979 and Talbot with its Sunbeam Lotus in 1981. Waldegard was followed by German Walter Rohrl and Finn Ari Vatanen as Drivers World Champions. <laughs> 
Topic: <laughs> Group B era. The 1980s saw the rear-wheel drive Group 2 and the more popular Group 4 cars be replaced by more powerful four-wheel drive Group B cars. FISA legalized all-wheel drive in 1979, but most manufacturers believed it was too complex to be successful. However, after Audi started entering Mikola and the new four-wheel drive Quattro in rallies for testing purposes with immediate success, other manufacturers started their all-wheel drive projects. Group B regulations were introduced in the 1982, and with only a few restrictions allowed almost unlimited power. Audi took the constructor's title in 1982 and 1984 and driver's title in 1983 Mikula and 1984 Stig Blomqvist. Audi's French female driver Michelle Mouton came close to winning the title in 1982, but had to settle for second place after Opel rival Rural. 1985 title seemed set to go to Vatanen and his Peugeot 205 T16, but a bad accident at the Rally Argentina left him to watch compatriot and teammate Timo Salonen take the title instead. Italian Attilio Bottega had even a more severe crash with his Lancia 037 at the Tour de Corse and died instantly. The 1986 started with impressive performances by Finns Henri Toivonen and Allen in Lancia's new turbo and supercharged Delta S4, which could reportedly accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour in 2.3 seconds on a gravel road. However, the season soon took a dramatic turn. At the Rally Portugal, three spectators were killed and over 30 injured after Joaquim Santos lost control of his Ford 200 rupees. At the Tour de Corse, championship favorite Toivonen and his co-driver Sergio Cresto died in a fireball accident after plunging down a cliff. Only hours after the crash, Jean-Marie Balestre and the FISA decided to freeze the development of the Group B cars and ban them from competing in 1987. More controversy followed when Peugeot's Juha Kankunen won the title after FIA annulled the results of the San Remo rally, taking the title from fellow Finn Marku Allen. Topic: Group Era. As the planned Group S was also cancelled, Group A regulations became the standard in the WRC until 1997. A separate Group A championship had been organized as part of the WRC already in 1986, with Sweden's Kenneth Eriksson taking the title with a Volkswagen Golf GTI 16 volts. Lancia was quickest in adapting to the new regulations and controlled the world rally scene with Lancia Delta HF, winning the constructor's title six years in a row from 1987 to 1992 and remains the most successful mark in the history of the WRC. Cancunen and Mickey Bayesian both took two drivers' titles with the Lancia Delta HF. The 1990s then saw the Japanese manufacturers, Toyota, Subaru and Mitsubishi, become title favorites. Spain's Carlos Sainz driving for Toyota Team Europe took the 1990 and 1992 titles with a Toyota Celica GT4. Cancunen moved to Toyota for the 1993 season and won his record fourth title, with Toyota taking its first manufacturer's crown. 
Frenchman Didier Auriol brought the team further success in 1994, and soon Subaru and Mitsubishi continued the success of the Japanese constructors. Subaru's Scotsman Colin McRae won the Drivers' World Championship in 1995 and Subaru took the manufacturer's title three years in a row. Finland's Tommy Makinen driving a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution won the Drivers' Championship four times in a row, from 1996 to 1999. Mitsubishi also won the manufacturer's title in 1998. Another notable car was the Ford Escort RS Cosworth, which was specifically designed for rallying. It was the first production car to produce downforce both at front and rear. World Rally Car Era For the 1997 World Rally Championship, the World Rally Car regulations were introduced as an intended replacement for Group A only successive works Mitsubishi's still conforming to the latter formula, until they, too, homologate a Lancer Evolution WRC from the 2001 San Remo Rally. After the success of Makinen and the Japanese manufacturers, France's Peugeot made a very successful return to the World Rally Championship. Finn Marcus Granholm took the driver's title in his first full year in the series and Peugeot won the manufacturer's crown. England's Richard Burns won the 2001 title with a Subaru Impreza WRC, but Granholm and Peugeot took back both titles in the 2002. 2003 saw Norway's Petter Solberg become driver's champion for Subaru and Citroën continue the success of the French manufacturers. Citroën's Sébastien Loeb went on to control the following seasons with his Citroën X Sarah WRC. Citroën took the constructor's title three times in a row and Loeb surpassed Makinen's record of four consecutive drivers' titles, earning his ninth consecutive championship in 2012. Volkswagen Motorsport entered the championship in 2013 and Sebastian Ogier dominated the series with six consecutive titles. New World Rally Car rules were introduced for 2017 which generated faster and more aggressive cars. In 2018, Toyota Gazoo Racing WRT won the World Rally Championship earning Toyota their first manufacturer's title since 1999. With Tommy Makinen heading the team, he became the first person in the history of rally driving to win a championship both as a driver and as a team principal. Topic Structure Each season normally consists of 13 rallies driven on surfaces ranging from gravel and tarmac to snow and ice. Points from these events are calculated towards the drivers' and manufacturers' world championships. The Drivers' Championship and Manufacturers' Championship are separate championships, but based on the same point system. This means, for example, that Petter Solberg driving for Subaru can win the Drivers' Championship but Citroën can win the Manufacturers' Championship, which is what happened in 2003, and again in 2006 and 2007 when Sebastien Loeb took his third and fourth WRC titles but Ford won the Manufacturers' Championship. Under the current points system, 
points are awarded at the end of each rally to the top 10 overall finishers in the World Rally Championship standings, as well as to the top 10 finishers within the Super 2000 and Production Car also known as WRC2. Two wheel drive, also known as WRC3, and Junior World Rally Championships. All categories use the following points structure. Despite how many drivers are in one team, constructors may only nominate two drivers to score points for the team as well as scoring for themselves. As only nominated drivers are counted while awarding points, competitors placed further down the final standings than 10th overall if preceded by privateer drivers can score them. In the current era, each rally usually consists of between 15 and 30 special stages of distances ranging from under 2 km miles, known as super special stages to over 50 km 31 miles. These competitive stages are driven on closed roads which are linked by non-competitive road sections open roads on which all road laws of that country must be adhered to. On average a day consists of a total of 400 kilometres of driving. A WRC event begins with reconnaissance on Tuesday and Wednesday, allowing crews to drive through the stages and create or update their pace notes. On Thursday, teams can run through the shakedown stage to practice and test their setups. The competition typically begins on Friday and ends on Sunday, though some rallies most notably the Monte Carlo Rally may be run over four or five days. Cars start the stages at two-minute intervals in clear weather, or three-minute intervals if it is decided that visibility may be a problem for competitors. Each day, or leg, has a few designated service parks between the stages, where the teams can, within strict time limits, perform maintenance and repairs on their cars. The service park also allows spectators and the media to get close to the teams and their cars and drivers. Between the days, after a 45-minute end-of-day service, cars are locked away in Parc Fermé, a quarantine environment where teams are not permitted to access or work on their cars. Power Stage First introduced in 2011, the Power Stage is the final stage of the rally. Additional World Championship points are available to the three until 2016 fastest drivers through the stage, regardless of where they actually finished in the rally, with the fastest team receiving three points, the second fastest receiving two points, and the third fastest receiving one point. In 2017 the scoring system was amended so the five fastest drivers through the stage were awarded points from five for first to one for fifth. For special stages, timing will be to the tenth of a second. For the power stage, timing will be to the thousandth of a second. Topic. Rally 2 Originally known as Super Rally, Rally 2 is a set of regulations that allow a driver who retires from an event to re enter the next day at the cost of a 7 minute time penalty for each missed stage, 10 minute penalty if only one stage is missed. 
This allows drivers who retire from an event to continue on and compete for world championship points. However, if they retire on the final leg of a rally, re-entering is not possible. Similarly, the use of Rally 2 regulations is at the discretion of event organizers. Topic. Cars The current cars with 1.6L direct injection turbo engines and four-wheel drive are built to World Rally Car regulations for racing across tarmac, gravel and snow. The power output is limited to around 380 bhp 280 kilowatts. Current cars in the championship include the Citroen C3 WRC, Ford Fiesta WRC, Toyota Yaris WRC and the Hyundai i20 Coupe WRC. The Volkswagen Polo RWRC ended its run with the close of the 2016 season. The WRC was formerly held for Group A and Group B rally cars. However, due to the increasing power, lack of reliability, and a series of fatal accidents during the 1986 rally, Group B was permanently banned. Later, in 1997, the Group A cars evolved into the WRC car spec, to ease the development of new cars and bring new makes to the competition. In 2011, new rules were introduced to encourage more manufacturers and privateers to take part, because the recent economic downturn had prompted several manufacturers to leave the championship. Cars in the Production Car World Rally Championship are limited to production-based cars homologate under Group N rules. Cars in the Super 2000 World Rally Championship are homologate under Super 2000 rules. Most cars in the Junior World Rally Championship are homologate under Super 1600 rules, but Group N and selected Group A cars can also contest the series. Starting in 2013, a new category of rally cars known as Group R were introduced as a replacement to the Group A and Group N rally categories, with cars classified under one of six categories based on their engine capacity and type, wheelbase, and drivetrain. As a result, no cars will be homologate under Group A and Group N regulations and instead will be reclassified under Group R. Parallel to this, the Super 2000 and Production Car World Championships were restructured, Super 2000 and Group N cars were merged into a single championship known as World Rally Championship 2 alongside R4 and R5 cars. Whilst the Production Car World Championship was completely reimagined as the World Rally Championship 3 for two-wheel drive cars complying with R1, R2 and R3 regulations. Teams and drivers 21 different manufacturers have won a World Rally Championship event, Citroën, Ford, Lancia, Toyota, Peugeot, Subaru, Volkswagen, Mitsubishi, Audi, Fiat, Hyundai, Datsun, Nissan, Opel, Renault, Renault Alpine, Saab, Mazda, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche and Talbot. Further 11 have finished on the podium, Seat, Mini, Vauxhall, Alfa Romeo, Volvo, Ferrari, MG, Polsky Fiat, Skoda, 
Triumph and Wartburg, Suzuki and Subaru pulled out of the WRC at the end of the 2008 championship, both citing the economic downturn then affecting the automotive industry for their withdrawal. Mini and Ford both pulled out of the WRC at the end of the 2012 championship, due to a similar economic downturn affecting the European market, although Ford continued to give technical support to M Sport. A typical WRC team will consist of about 40 people on the events, with a further 60 to 100 at the team base. Manufacturers and manufacturer backed teams usually have two or three drivers participating in each rally who are eligible to score points. The total number of crews, driver and their co-driver, in the rallies varied from 47 Monte Carlo and Mexico, to 108 Great Britain during the 2007. In 2012, the Ford World Rally team and the Mini WRC team both announced their departure from the World Rally Championships for the 2013 season. Volkswagen and Hyundai made their return to the championship in 2013 and 2014, respectively. Toyota announced it will return to the World Rally Championships for the 2017 season with its Toyota Gazoo Racing Team and its Toyota Yaris WRC car. Also Citroen will return to the sport in 2017 with a fully factory supported team after competing part time in 2016 to focus on the development of their 2017 generation brand new car based on the Citroen C3. Topic coverage TV Promoter GmbH owns the commercial rights to the championship and through WRC TV produces daily updates from each event after the day's stages have finished and the TV coverage has been processed. These daily highlight programs are 30 minutes in duration and cover in depth the day's stages, with in car footage as well as driver interviews. Before the rally, there is also a magazine style preview program that normally incorporates special driver, technical, and team features as well as providing an overview of the upcoming rally's route. There is also a post-event review program, which lasts approximately an hour, that summarizes the rally and the big events that took place during the event. This is then shown in more than 150 markets in multiple languages. The make-up and format for these programs can change from country to country depending on the local broadcaster but all use WRC TV. In the United Kingdom, coverage of the 2017 season is split between four broadcasters. Channel 5 broadcasts the post-event review, while the preview program is screened on its Spike network. BT Sport has rights to live stages and daily highlights, Motors TV has highlights rights and Welsh language channel S4C also covers the championship in its Rallyo programme. In 2016, the cumulative worldwide TV audience for WRC TV's programmes was more than 700 million. The programming was available in over 150 markets and more than 12,000 hours were screened globally. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Radio. 
Live radio coverage was provided in English by WRC Live via the Internet, featuring end-of-stage reports direct from the drivers and teams plus Service Park News. They also produced podcasts. It also featured contemporary music during breaks in rally coverage. Currently the radio plays the sound of WRC plus all live. Topic: Internet streaming. Coverage is provided by WRC promoter GmbH via video on demand at its WRC Plus website featuring live special stages, highlights, timing, onboard footage and live map tracking. From 2018, WRC Plus All Live was introduced, producing live coverage from all the stages during rally event. Topic Champions Topic Event Wins Updated after twenty nineteen Rally Mexico Drivers and manufacturers who have participated in the twenty nineteen World Rally Championship are in bold. Topic: Evolution of the calendar. Topic: Other classes. The World Rally Championship also features support championships called the World Rally Championship 2, previously known as SWRC, the World Rally Championship 3, previously known as PWRC, and the Junior World Rally Championship JWRC. These championships are contested on the same events and stages as the WRC. The Super 2000 World Rally Championship SWRC was started in 2010. Within the Super 2000 category are competitions for drivers known as the SWRC and another for teams, the World Rally Championship Cup. The cars in the championship are under the Super 2000 rules. From 2013, WRC2 replaced SWRC and including cars with four-wheel drive R5, R4 and S2000, the production car World Rally Championship PWRC, began in 2002, replacing the FIA Group N Cup which had been contested from 1987. Cars in the championship are production-based and homologate under Group N rules. From 2013, the production WRC was renamed WRC3 including Group R cars with two-wheel drive R3, R2 and R1. By the end of 2018, the World Rally Championship 3 will be discontinued and a new class will be created within the World Rally Championship 2. The class, known as World Rally Championship 2 Pro, will be open to manufacturer-supported teams entering cars complying with Group R5 regulations. The Junior World Rally Championship (JWRC) was started in 2001 and can be contested with Super 1600, Group N, and selected Group A cars. Drivers in the championship have to be 28 years or younger. There is no age limit for co drivers. The World Rally Championship Ladies' Cup ran from 1990 to 1995 and could be won by any class of car. 
Louise Aitken Walker was the first winner. Topic: Video games. There have been many video games based on the World Rally Championship, and due to lack of licenses, many more based on only certain cars, drivers or events. Sega Rally was released in 1995, V Rally and Top Gear Rally in 1997 and the first game in the very popular Colin McRae Rally series in 1998. Rally Trophy, released in 2001 for Microsoft Windows by Bugbear, concentrated on historic cars such as Alpine A110 and Lancia Stratus. Rallysport Challenge, released in 2002 for Windows and Xbox by Digital Illusions CE, featured classic Group B cars and hill climb models along with modern WRC cars. Fully FIA licensed WRC, World Rally Championship was released in 2001 for PlayStation 2 by Evolution Studios. The video game series had its fifth game, WRC, Rally Evolved, in 2005. Racing simulator Richard Burns Rally, released in 2004 for several platforms, has gathered recognition for its realism. Recent top-selling games include Colin McRae, Dirt 2, Sega Rally Revo and Dirt 3. Gran Turismo 5 will include the WRC totally licensed. In October 2010, Black Bean Games released WRC, FIA World Rally Championship, which features the cars, drivers and events of the 2010 World Rally Championship, including those from the three support categories. A downloadable patch was produced allowing players to drive in Group B cars such as the Audi Quattro. Various cars whose participated in the WRC such as Mitsubishi Lancer WRC and Ford Fiesta RS WRC have also appeared in the Facebook game Car Town. The WRC video game license was acquired by French game development studio Kyloton from Milestone SR.L. After the release of WRC 4, FIA World Rally Championship in 2013. The first WRC game by Kyloton was WRC 5, released in 2015. This was followed by WRC 6 in 2016, and WRC 7 in 2017. Topic. See also List of World Rally Championship records <laughs> Footnotes <laughs>